everybody, Mormor with a Vinanza here, and today I'm making this balloon football goal post. Whether you're celebrating your favorite player or team, or just want a place to do your own end zone dance, this is a fun addition to any party or event setup. So follow along and I'll show you not only how to make the frame, but the balloon arrangement that goes on top. To make the goal post, I'm using two bags of these five inch yellow balloons and I'm going to inflate them to three pumps each. This is gonna give me really consistent sizing for the entire project. Now once I've got that tied off, it's ready to be tied into a pair. But because we're inflating so many balloons, and that can take quite a while, so what you can do is take one balloon and before you tie the knot, put it under one of your fingers that's holding the pump, then go ahead and inflate your second balloon and then tie those together, wrapping around twice and then tying a knot. This is gonna save you a lot of ties as you build this up. So once you've got your pair made, what we're gonna do is bring those together into a quad by taking two pairs, putting them together so that the nozzles touch, and then twisting those two together, and that will bring them together in a quad. Now for this project, we're gonna need 42 quads and then two pairs to help us turn the corners. The stand for the goalpost is built on this wooden base that I made that's 12 inches wide and has a half inch floor flange attached to it. If you'd like to see a detailed build of this, you can check out my video linked above for more details. On top of this base, we're going to be attaching a half inch PVC pipe and I've got three sections that are 36 inches long, two sections that are 18 inches long, two elbows, and one T. I've opted to camouflage the base of my stand using two sheets of tissue paper that I just folded into a quarter, cut into a circle, and then cut out a center point so that that flange sticks right up through the middle of that tissue paper. You could always skip this step, but it's a nice finishing touch. Onto that flange, I'm going to add my first 36 inch piece, and then on top of that, my T, making sure I get all of my fittings really snugly attached so that there's no drooping. Next, I added the two 18 inch pieces into either side of that T fitting, and then to the ends of either of those pipes, I'm going to add my elbows, making sure I get those on nice and tight with the openings pointing upwards. Into those elbows, I added the final two 36 inch pieces, and I did take a little bit of time to make sure all my joints were nice and tight and those goal posts were upright and square. Once that's all settled, then we can go ahead and start adding the balloons. To secure the balloons to the stand, I'm going to take my first quad and nestle two balloons around the pole so that the pole touches all of the nozzles. Then I'm going to take the two balloons that the pole went in between and twist those together so that it locks securely onto the pole. And then I'm just going to give it a gentle press down to make sure we're right against the base of that stand. And to that, I'm going to add my next quad. Now I'm going to do the same thing by nestling it around the pole twisting the balloons together to lock them around, but I want to make sure that these balloons are turned slightly so that one balloon is in between the two balloons of the quad below it. This will allow the quads to nestle tightly together and you'll be less likely to see the pole in between. So I'm just going to keep doing this until I've got 10 quads on the base of the pole. I wanted to pop in and let you know that I have a balloon recipe to go along with today's project. This is a downloadable PDF that includes detailed supply lists, illustrations, and written step-by-step -step instructions to get you through the entire project. I'll have it linked below in my shop, or if you join my Patreon at my party maker level, you'll have access to not only today's balloon recipe, but my entire library of digital products. So check out my Patreon membership or the shop below if you'd like to up your party game. And until then, let's get back into the project. Once the 10 quads are attached to the pole, you notice there's about a six inch gap between it and the T. And so now we're going to keep adding quads, but these are gonna be vertical. So I'm going to add my first quad and making sure it's right up against that center part of the T so that there won't be a gap. On the other side of the T, I'm gonna add another quad in the same fashion and making sure I squish those together so that you won't see the pipe in between. You can see a little bit right now, but as we continue to add quads across this horizontal part, it'll squish them all together and you'll be less likely to see the pipe. Keep adding quads to the frame until you get to the corner. Once you reach the 90 degree elbow, you want to pull out one of those pairs that we had set aside ahead of time and pull it down on the inside of the frame so that the nozzles of that pair sit right in the corner of that 90 degree elbow. And this is going to help us make a really square turn. On top of that pair, take another quad, tie it to the frame, but rotate it so that one of the balloons is setting right between the pair that we just added. And this will give us a nice seamless look and really hide our frame. From here, you're just gonna continue to add quads in the same way until you get to the very top of the frame, and then repeat this on the left side of the goalpost as well. 
As a finishing touch, I added this helium-filled football foil right to the frame by just twisting the string around the frame and tucking the excess string into the back side. If you didn't want to use helium, you could always do an air-filled balloon and take a couple of glue dots and stick it directly to the football goal. And that's it! This simple project comes together so quickly and this football goal is ready for a celebration. I hope you're inspired by today's project. A prop like this has a huge impact in a party or event space and is a real bang for your buck when you build something like this. If you enjoyed today's project, hit that like button and subscribe below. And don't forget to check out our Patreon page where I do even more party and event tips. Until the next project, you can check out some of my other videos over here. And remember, stay creative everybody. Bye.